welcome Sagittarius. This reading is for you. This will be your second half of November reading. And I'm actually doing this reading on 11-11. So if you're not quite sure what those uh, numbers mean, make sure to look those up. Uh, you have inspiration and courage, Sagittarius. And you also have transformation and change. So I think at this time you should have courage in the transformations that are going that you're going through. <laughs> you also have strength and resilience. So whatever it is you're going through at the moment, Sagittarius, <laughs> you are destined to go through this. This is something that's going to bring great change to your life. This is something that and maybe you have to have courage to take a step. But you have all the strength and resilience that you need, Sagittarius, to make these changes that you need to change. Or uh, that you are going through, I should say. You have all the strength and resilience to go through these changes. Okay, both of these wanted to come out. So we have the royal you and opening to discovery. So yeah, th this is definitely a change. Um, <laughs> you are royalty, Sagittarius. I think there's one more sign that got this. Um, royalty card. Can't remember if it was Leo or Scorpio, but um, if if you have Leo or Scorpio in your um, in your your chart, you may want to take a look at those. Now, all three of these wanted to come out, so I'm going to go ahead and take them. And you have Waking the Lion. Yeah, that's your strength. That is definitely your strength. And you could be a storyteller at the moment. And you have Feeling the World, Sagittarius. I feel like there's a lot coming out for you. There's so many changes that you're going through at the moment, Sag. Let's get some messages from your angels. Let's see what your angels have to say. Now, if you're into numerology, the numbers that you have may be significant to you. You have 16, 34, 19, 17, and 13. Those may be important numbers for you at the moment. Let's get some advice from your angels. Get some advice from your angels. You have Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Yeah, so this change may bring you a lot more peace into your life, Sagittarius. This change may be something new that you're going through. You also have Oceana. Take act action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Yes, yeah, so move forward with the change. Don't be scared of the changes you're going through. You are being protected. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Wow, so you have strong healing and protection from your angels right now. Let's see this one. Okay, two of swords. I feel like you may have choices that you need to make, Sagittarius. You may have choices. You also have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like someone's here to 
Someone's giving you a lot of help in this situation. You have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you, you maybe been feeling like you're stuck. You've been anxious. You have the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're recovering. You're recovering from whatever fear this is. Whatever anxiety that you've been going through. You also have the world. So, whatever it is that you're going through, Sagittarius, I feel like you're at a completion. I feel like you've learned your lessons and now you're, you're, you're making full circle. Um, these changes are going to bring some, some new beginnings in your life. Um, I do feel like you have support. I feel like your angels are supporting you. I feel like your angels are supporting you right now, Sagittarius. And you have the sun. Okay. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. Let's take a look at these. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like you're supported. I feel like the these changes that you're going to be going through, they've left you with a lot of sleepless nights. You've had to make a lot of choices. But you, you are being supported. And you're recovering from whatever it is that has left you uh, feeling withdrawn and feeling incomplete. The Nine of Swords, I'm, I'm really feeling like you were caught up in your head so much I feel like you were drifting into a depression over whatever situation that you're dealing with but I feel like you're moving past that and I I see that with the sun and the nine of pentacles and the knight of wands I feel like you're you're quickly moving past those feelings of being anxious. You're moving past it now. You're you're moving out of it, and it may be due to the holidays coming up. Um, maybe you have set your mind on happier times, having more fun. Really taking time out with family and friends. And I feel like with the world card, you may be traveling at this time as well. But I feel like it's going to leave you a much happier time. Hmm. Let's get some clarification for these cards, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. What are these choices? What did you have to compromise? What decision did you have to make? The Six of Cups. This may have to do with your family. This may have to do with your family. You may have had to compromise reuniting with someone. You had to make choices. 
What is this Six of Pentacles? The Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands could be your energy. You also have the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you're, you've changed your priorities. You have made your decisions. I felt like after weighing your options, you made the decisions that would best suit you. With the Four of Swords, you have the Four of Pentacles. So, I definitely feel like you're, you've recovered from that situation. You've recovered from that situation. And you feel more secure. This is definitely a change, a new transformation. And I believe this world card and the death card, this, this is a huge, huge change. This is something that was life-changing. What's this three of pentacles? The king of wands. You have two counterparts here, the queen of wands and the king of wands. So it could be this passionate, huge change that has come into your life has brought you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. Maybe even brought you more abundance into your life a lot quicker than you thought it would, would do. Yeah, someone's, someone's providing you with communication with a message to, that, that's made you very happy. You've gotten some kind of communication that has left you feeling like, overcome with joy this communication has made you it, it's it's fulfilled you in some way yeah it's about the it's about your future something's gonna something has changed so much that it's drastically changed your future. Something you thought was impossible that you've been waiting for that you thought was delayed. It could also be you traveling during this time. But yeah, you have the tower as well. This tower, I wouldn't be fearful of this tower at all. This tower could be the change that that you totally need to bring you happiness hmm. yeah this could be this could be love coming through it definitely could be love because you have the queen of wands the king of wands and the four of pentacles in the middle so this could be long-term security in love. Long-term security in love. Hmm. Beautiful reading. And I feel like you've been very patient for this. 
I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for that's finally coming into your view. But this is something that's very special, Sagittarius. This is very special. Because I, I feel like you thought this person had a fear of commitment. I think that if this is love, Sagittarius, you thought that this person had too many options, that you weren't one of them. But it seems you are. It, seem, it seems you are the only option, Sagittarius. It seems like you're the only option. This is definitely something that you've been waiting for. This huge change is going to make all the difference. Hmm. Let's see. Surrender. I release my need to control. Are you feeling a little bit of controlling? Sagittarius, like, you, you didn't want to have patience for this situation. You wanted to control the outcome. But there's some things in life that you can't control. Sometimes you just have to surrender. And happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. And you have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yeah, so I think that this is something that you had long time intentions for, Sagittarius. And now that you find that you need to surrender and give in to your happiness. The presence of love will always cast out fear. Definitely. Definitely. That's what this is. That's what this is. Thank you for clarifying this spirit. You, you were fearful of this. And now this love, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands together, united, has left you feeling more balanced. If, if this isn't happening now, this will happen soon. This is coming towards you. If this, is, if this isn't already in the works, this is coming. This is coming, Sag. I surrender to the... I surrender to a power greater than me. Yes, yeah, surrender. Surrender the control. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Wow. I have to say, Sagittarius, this is a pretty simple reading. You just need to release the control and let it happened. Just go with the flow. Don't hide in your fears, Sagittarius. Okay. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. It may have more messages that resonate with you. Many blessings to you, Sag. Have a wonderful holiday season. And make time to play, love, and laugh on 1111. Many blessings to you. Love and light.